The solar asteroids in the asteroid belt typically move at speeds ranging from about 38,200 to 5,925 miles per hour. A redirection spacecraft like the one used inside the DART project become designed to change the orbit of the moonlet Dimorphos, which orbits a near-Earth asteroid known as Didymos. However, on this scenario, the item in query is much larger and moving drastically quicker. Consider attempting to redirect a mountain traveling quicker than a bullet. Launching nuclear weapons on the item has been considered, but the ability results are uncertain. The explosion could ruin the asteroid into smaller fragments, which could then fall in numerous places across the planet, causing big destruction. As the arena grapples with this unheard of threat, chaos ensues. Information of an sizable asteroid, six miles in diameter, hurtling closer to Earth with a hard and fast collision date just 83 days away, triggers full-size panic. The revelation spreads worry and uncertainty throughout the globe, affecting each bustling cities and quiet towns. Notwithstanding efforts by using authorities to calm the loads, their reassurances are drowned out by using the rising tide of worry. Households rush to stockpile meals, water, and survival device, realizing that the best wish for protection lies deep underground. Excessive authority figures are relocated to underground bunkers just like the Cheyenne Mountain Complicated, designed as a command middle within the occasion of nuclear conflict. Many civilians also try to find refuge underground, inflicting highways and roads to end up jammed with motors as people try to flee the projected impact area. Over the following months, it turns into obvious that civilization as we recognize its far collapsing. The impact zone is evacuated, and as the asteroid attracts closer, it becomes seen inside the sky, acting like a large fireball because it enters the environment. Traveling at a pace of 12.2 miles in step with second, the extreme friction generates a giant air blast, heating the floor of the asteroid to extreme temperatures. The resulting surprise waves ripple outward, developing a deafening sonic increase that shatters windows and flattens forests for heaps of miles around. The shock wave travels via the surroundings, causing widespread disturbances at the surface underneath. The acute passage of the asteroid via the ecosystem ionizes air molecules, leading to electromagnetic disturbances that have an effect on digital gadget over an extensive vicinity. Maximum satellites in Earth's orbit are destroyed, causing worldwide communique to go dead in an immediate. As the asteroid crashes into Earth's floor with incredible pressure, it releases electricity equivalent to tens of millions of 50 megaton nuclear bombs. The impact reasons big earthquakes which can be felt around the globe, exceeding 11 on the Richter scale. These earthquakes trigger large tsunamis, with waves almost three miles excessive slamming into coastal areas near the Effect website online and sending one-mile-high tsunamis the world over's oceans. The effect ejects a massive plume of 25 trillion metric heaps of molten fabric into the atmosphere, with a number of it being several instances warmer than the surface of the sun. Superheated winds, shifting nicely over 600 mph, radiate outward from the impact point, shredding flora and vaporizing any residing creature caught of their path. Molten rock ejected by means of the effect rains down throughout a good deal of north the United States incinerating the whole lot inside a 1,000-mile radius and igniting substantial wooded area fires. The atmosphere fills with dust and ash, blocking off out sunlight and plunging the earth into darkness. Dust and sulfurous materials ejected into the surroundings lead to a nuclear winter effect, causing a fast lower in international temperatures. This, blended with big quantities of water vapor from the effect, creates acid rain that covers a whole lot of the planet. The dirt debris block out maximum sunlight, lowering photosynthesis and causing maximum timber and vegetation that weren't incinerated by means of the blast to die out. Global wildfires growth atmospheric carbon dioxide degrees, main to a greenhouse effect that warms the planet and melts the closing polar ice, leaving a lot of the world covered in shallow seas. Most of the people of Earth's plant life and flora and fauna, which were not worn out in the initial explosion, start to die off, leading to a global mass extinction. For the unfortunate human beings who failed to locate shelter deep underground, chances of survival are near zero. The state of affairs is so terrifying that some people would possibly perish from fear on my own. Those who live on the effect face and high-quality mission inside the aftermath. With full-size worldwide devastation, survivors would want to stay underground for months, 
depending on their proximity to ground zero. Within the preliminary weeks, food and water shortages could be excessive, as supply chains could be definitely broken and something not stored underground might in all likelihood be destroyed. Cattle not taken underground could perish in the first few months due to harsh environmental conditions, consisting of drastic temperature drops and severe disruptions in meals chains. Many species of flowers and animals, along with marine reptiles, fish, whales, and different sea life would probably die off from those food chain disruptions in the event that they survive the impact and after effects at all. People would need to stay huddled inner their underground shelters for a long term. The out-of-doors global, especially urban regions near the impact crater, would resemble a put-up apocalyptic movie. Towns close to the effect website would be absolutely devastated with homes, infrastructure, and landscapes in the instantaneous area obliterated. The shock wave could level systems, uproot bushes, and sweep away the whole lot in its path. The intense warmness generated via the impact would ignite good-sized fires throughout the panorama, with particles and flammable substances fueling firestorms that rage via urban regions, turning towns into deadly infernos. Towns near coastlines could be submerged and destroyed by using the relentless force of the tsunamis. The human toll of the impact could be mammoth, with the majority of population in cities close to ground zero perishing both from the preliminary effect, tsunamis, fires, or next environmental adjustments. Survivors might face a harsh and inhospitable international, struggling to discover food, water, and refuge amidst the devastation. The mental effect of such an occasion might be profound, with many survivors managing trauma and loss. Sickness could unfold quickly because of weakened immune systems, and putting in place network fitness facilities might be vital for survival. Generating energy would be some other essential mission for the survivors. Regardless of all these demanding situations, humanity's resilience and capability for overcoming catastrophic occasions may want to shine through. Indoor farming, the usage of hydroponics should end up a possible answer for meals manufacturing. Renewable power sources could be advanced to counter the dwindling fossil gasoline reserves. After a year or so, it is probably viable to start rebuilding infrastructure, provided that humanity comes together and leverages human ingenuity and resourcefulness. Whilst it might take decades or even hundreds of years to get better, there may be wish that the arena may want to finally become a Miles distinctive area. As humanity rebuilds, the instructions learned from such a catastrophe could cause a brighter future. Inside the intervening time, it's far critical to put together for such scenarios, despite the fact that the probability appears far-flung. Ensuring that we've got plans in place and the functionality to behave quickly ought to make the distinction among survival and extinction in the face of any such cataclysmic event uh, because the preliminary shock of the asteroid impact begins to put on off. The survivors who manage to discover shelter deep underground have to now face the daunting project of emerging into a considerably altered world. With international temperatures plummeting due to the nuclear iciness effect and massive destruction of infrastructure, the first precedence is securing basic requirements like meals, water, and safe haven. Underground groups might have to depend upon stored elements for sustenance. Hydroponic and aeroponic farming structures may want to come to be essential, enabling the boom of greens and other crops without soil, the use of nutrient-rich solutions. These systems could be powered via renewable strength assets consisting of sun panels, which could be strategically positioned to seize the restricted sunlight to be had, or by means of geothermal electricity which harnesses heat from the Earth's middle. Water, every other essential resource, would need to be cautiously managed. Rainwater harvesting systems and water purification techniques could assist ensure a regular supply of clean water. Desalination vegetation may also grow to be essential in coastal regions to transform seawater into potable water, even though the strength necessities for such methods would be giant. With most people of Earth's floor devastated, communique and transportation networks might be in disarray. Reorganizing those networks would be vital for coordinating remedy efforts and rebuilding society. Newbie radio networks, which can be much less reliant on contemporary infrastructure, may want to serve as an period in between solution for lengthy distance verbal exchange. On a smaller scale, communities might depend on bicycle couriers or small electric automobiles to transport items and statistics. In phrases of refuge, many survivors would want to remain of their underground bunkers for prolonged intervals venturing out best while simply necessary. The design of those shelters might be important, 
wanting to shield population from the harsh external surroundings even as presenting adequate residing situations. Advanced airflow systems, radiation protective, and waste recycling could be crucial capabilities. As the external environment slowly stabilizes, greater permanent above-ground shelters may be built using materials and techniques designed to withstand severe climate situations. The mental effect of the disaster cannot be understated. Survivors might face immense trauma from the lack of cherished ones, the destruction in their houses, and the sheer scale of the catastrophe. Network assist structures, intellectual fitness resources, and ordinary social activities could be essential in assisting human beings cope. The formation of recent social structures, together with communal living arrangements and cooperative workgroups, should foster a sense of team spirit and reason. Schooling and expertise sharing could play a critical position within the recovery manner. Preserving and disseminating expertise approximately technological know-how, era, agriculture, and medicine would be important for rebuilding society. Libraries, virtual data, and educational institutions could want to be prioritized to make certain that future generations have the tools and information needed to keep the recuperation method. Because the months develop into years, the point of interest would step-by-step -step shift from survival to rebuilding. Clearing particles, reconstructing buildings, and reorganizing infrastructure might be monumental duties. Improvements in construction, including 3D printing technologies and the usage of sustainable constructing materials, could boost up the rebuilding process. Efforts might likely be focused in regions much less suffering from the initial impact and next environmental changes. One of the full-size demanding situations could be addressing the environmental devastation. The effect might have induced giant biodiversity loss, with many species of flora and animals driven to extinction. Rebuilding ecosystems might be a protracted and complex system. Reforestation packages, habitat restoration efforts, and the reintroduction of surviving species would be necessary steps towards ecological healing. Scientists and conservationists could want to work collectively to create resilient ecosystems able to withstanding destiny environmental challenges. Financial systems would additionally want to be reinstalled. In the instantaneous aftermath, bartering and neighborhood alternate would likely be the number one means of change. As balance returns, extra formal economic systems might be reintroduced. Forex, banking, and markets might want to be cautiously regulated to save you exploitation and ensure fair distribution of resources. The political panorama might additionally undergo enormous changes. With many governments and institutions decimated by the impact, new varieties of governance might emerge. Neighborhood councils, local alliances, and international coalitions ought to form to cope with the myriad challenges going through humanity. Cooperation and collaboration might be crucial for managing sources coordinating rebuilding efforts, and making sure peace and safety. Technological innovation might be a key driving force of restoration. Further to improvements in agriculture, energy, and production, new technology could assist reveal and mitigate destiny threats. Stepped forward asteroid detection structures, area exploration initiatives, and planetary protection mechanisms would be prioritized to prevent a similar disaster from happening once more. International cooperation would be extra important than ever. The shared enjoy of the sort of global catastrophe ought to foster a sense of harmony and collective duty. International locations may collaborate on big-scale projects, along with rebuilding crucial infrastructure, restoring ecosystems, and growing new technologies. Global businesses, likely reformed or newly created, might play a relevant role in coordinating those efforts and making sure equitable distribution of aid and resources. Notwithstanding the vast demanding situations, the catastrophe may also offer an possibility for humanity to rethink and reshape its relationship with the planet. Lessons learned from the catastrophe should result in more sustainable practices, greater recognize for the surroundings, and a renewed recognition on resilience and preparedness. The rebuilding method could incorporate concepts of sustainability and fairness, developing a more balanced and harmonious global society. Cultural and inventive expressions might also play a considerable role within the healing technique. Art, track, literature, and different varieties of creative expression could help human beings procedure their studies and envision a brighter future. These cultural sports could offer an experience of normalcy and continuity, 
reminding humans of the iconic human spirit.